New at six, making sure that students are safe when they are not under the protection of parents or teachers. As Jerry Gretzinger discovered, dozens of business owners are now joining the fight to eliminate what is a popular bully battleground. Kids in Cahos know they're safe at home and they know they're safe at school. But what about the walk from one to the other? Number of kids in this district walk more so than in other districts. So we wanted to establish a safety net in the city. With bullying front and center these days, retired Cohoes High School teacher Tom Mullins thought it would be smart to eliminate one more bully battleground, the walk home. Dozens of businesses in Cohoes are participating in the Safe Havens Project. If kids ever feel threatened any time of day, all they have to do is look for one of these signs outside of an area of business, and they'll know that help is waiting inside. It's almost like an extension of a neighborhood watch program. Mullins says there are nearly 50 city businesses participating. If a child comes in seeking help, the protocol is to call police, who call the parents, who take the kids home. Student Rachel Mossy volunteers with the program and expects it will make a difference. To see people saying, oh, I'm going to get you on the way home, you know, like, and that scares kids, you know, like, it should scare kids, but, you know, like, it's always, it's good to feel that you are protected, you know, on the way home. You know? Fred Turcott, business owner and city council member, says his tables, chairs, and more stores served as a safe haven long before there was a program. In the past, prior to this program, we've had kids, you know, feeling a little uncomfortable, come into the store and just stand inside for a minute and, and let the, the, you know, whoever was bothering them go by and, you know, so it just seems like a, a natural thing to do. Is there a price tag with this or is this just a lot of the, you know, cooperation of businesses? It's goodwill. It's goodwill. And no, we, we purposely kept cost out of it because I've seen many and many ideas discouraged by someone saying, well, how much will it cost to do this? No, this is purely a goodwill program. Jerry Gretzinger, CBS 6 News.